Hello, so we're going to demo our um, chess AI to look this way. Um, resetting the game is pretty easy, you just click that, um, pick up a piece, make a move. Um, uh, if you try and make a move that's illegal, the piece will be returned to its old position and you can try to move again. Um, the AI, the progress bar on the bottom right keeps track of the AI's turn progress and the bar must go around twice before the AI makes a move. And um, here it's about to make the first move. We gave it, uh, the basis of our game and running the AI is a rate move block that, that basically the process is that we we um, generate all the possible moves for the AI and then we have it rate all those moves according to how good they are. Um, and one of the, the things we give ratings to the AI for is moving pieces off the back ring to develop its pieces and also moving pieces towards the center. So we might see it move its pawn up to the middle here. Um, it will not capture that pawn because it can tell that I'm protecting it with my knight. Developing another piece. Uh, go ahead and go there. And while that's running, you can look at some of our code. These are just some of a lot of the pieces annotated. Over here, we have all the various rules for piece movement. Um, so when you click a piece, it'll broadcast what kind of piece it is, and then this will register that and generate moves accordingly. Um, it'll take in the pieces position and piece rules, and you can see it firing up there for calculating black pieces. Um, here's this is actually all for for checking for a check and checkmate. Um, these are some pieces work in progress. Um, these down here are things that facilitate the the progress of Black's turn. Um, it goes through a series of lists to generate all the moves um, and eventually determine which move to use. And here we go about to oh well, getting ready to make its next move. <laughs> Oh, oh, I'm sorry, that's, that's, <laughs> that was the end of the first phase. Um, you can see the bar goes a little faster in the beginning because it's working through the pawns, which are much easier to figure out than the uh, knights and bishops and whatnot, and queens. What's it going to do? Moving up a pawn, alright. Let's see here. I'll go here. You can see on each piece we have um, uh, some broadcast stuff. Uh, there's a list. We have a list of all the pieces, and each um, piece has its own unique identifier. Um, so we needed 32 identifiers, so we used, used A through Z, which is 26, and then 1 through 8. So they all have a one-digit identifier. Um, when it's their turn to, to calculate their possible moves and whatnot, their identifier gets called and they broadcast what kind of piece they are and they broadcast their identity and all that gets processed through our, um, our movement rules block. And um, these various blocks in here facilitate that. Like this one is the, the major one. When this, when this, this is for white, so when this piece gets clicked, it does all these things, like record what position it is, record what ID it is, record what kind of piece it is, broadcast, generate movement, things like that. Um, for the progress bar, oh, looks like we have a move. Alright, move this bishop up. Fianchetto. Let's see. Um, on the progress bar, all we have is so we have lists of all the pieces, and um, and in the during the AI's turn, it progressively goes through that list, generating moves for every single piece. And every time that happens, there's a broadcast for next piece. And this costume board receives that. And it it generate it changes its costume, which adds a bar each time um, a piece is is gone through. So that's how we keep track of the progress. Um, and the bar goes around twice because it goes through every single one of white's pieces and then it goes through every single one of black's pieces. Uh, there it goes, made another move, moved up to the center. Hmm. See, it hasn't given itself any away yet. See, if I go here. It probably won't take me. We have it set up to... So
so since chess is exponential in its its nature and its um, in the splitting, the branching of its possible moves, our AI only has the ability to look one move into the future. But to kind of get around that, we've used threat lists, so we keep track of which squares are threatened. So this black the AI knows that this this knight is defended by this pawn, so it's not going to it will it won't necessarily take it because it knows it's not just three points. Um, since it would get captured and it would capture, that's actually giving it a, basically a zero rating. So, yeah, so that it rated that. It's higher. It's protected. It's got the center. Um, let's see. Let's give it a little test. What are you going to do if I go here? Just, just a simple AI chest. It should be able to detect that it can take that piece and that that piece is not defended, and it will capture it. Um, it in this situation, there, it could capture with any of the three pieces. Um, it hasn't been given any ratings to, to select for what piece to capture with. Oh, the, we've also um, put in blocks to see that the king is in check, so it knew that it had to do that. For instance, if I go here, it will know that it's in check, and the only move it can do in this, well actually, it could, it could move the king away. So it can move the king away, or the queen will capture, and that's much more likely because it'll be awarded points for capturing, whereas the king won't be really awarded. It'll just get like zero points. Um, um, so we should see the queen capture that as its only possible move. Well, not only possible move, but the best best rated move. Take a little peek inside of our rate move block while that happens. So we set a rating at zero. Um, we, in keeping track of the threats, we we look at the threats that black has on a spot and the threats that white has on a spot. And if if black is attacking spot more times, we say that it can win the exchange. Um, and there's various things we do, like we add capture points. Like if it's going to capture a piece, we add the points that are, that are the corresponding to the value of that piece. And if that piece is protected, which it could capture, then the piece that is doing the capturing, it will we, it will subtract points based on that, assuming that like, the piece will therefore be captured. Um, we offer points for moving off of the back row. That offers an incentive for developing the pieces. And we offer point a, a point for moving towards the middle. Um, we also have a piece uh, of further rating that we were working on. Oh, let's go back to the board here. We see that the... Uh, oops. Snap has some graphics issues. Come on. Uh-oh. Uh, this might cut our video a little short. I was going to show you that um, the queen did in fact capture the knight, as uh, as would be expected. It was the high, most highly rated move in that situation. Uh, um, well, it looks like it looks like our demo has come to an end <laughs> due to snap issues. Um, what I was going to show you is one more addition to the uh, the rate moves block, which was um, adding a, a points for moving out of danger, um, and that would check to see if you're threatened and check to see if a potential move um, moves you out of danger, and then award your own piece's value for removing yourself from danger, and that gives the computer a way to to see when it's attacked to move the piece away from being attacked. Um, and that would allow it to evade your attacks and make it that much smarter. So uh, those are the highlights of our, our chess game. And, um, well, uh, yeah. Bye.